We've asked students, faculty, and community members to tell us what the collection means to them. My name is Dr. Rachel Lowen Walker. I'm the Ariel F. Salos Chair in Human Rights with the College of Law. Uh, prior to that, I was the executive director of Out Saskatoon, formerly the Avenue Community Centre, for seven years. I used the collection a couple times when I was with Out Saskatoon. Um, part of the process of telling the stories of the organization, looking back to see what kinds of things we'd worked on, uh, people that were involved in the organization, and really in attention to the, the value of keeping an active archive of our community. And so I, I connected it with it more then, although I was very, have been very involved with telling the stories of the events and the experiences of our, of our community. I want to support my students in engaging with the collection, both for what it has and maybe what's missing, right? That tells us as much about what's going on at the time as what's present, is what's missing. And so I'm hoping to support some work around queer communities on the prairies to build on some of the stuff that's here and start looking at what it looks like to keep telling these stories in the future. And so this document, celebrating, celebrating a history of diversity, a selected annotated chronology. Neil Richards prepared this document and so I had quite a relationship with Neil. I knew him and worked with him and this document, what this does is 1971 to 2005 and it's less about the archival pieces as it is about what happened, when organizations started, who was involved, what were they doing, um, what kinds of human rights pieces. It documents those, those pieces that were significant to Saskatchewan. What I actually want to support is the next phase of this document. And so um, I have a, a, a project called the Social Innovation Lab on Gender and Sexuality. It's a shirk funded project. And one of my hopes is that the research assistants will, will be able to do that. I think it's the repeated refrain, history is written by the winners. So without collections such as these, without careful processes of keeping, archiving, documenting, saving those boxes of material, we lose it. We lose the story and then history continues to be written by dominant groups. And so um, I know that, again, a document like this ensures that the stories, experiences, protests, difficulties of Saskatchewan's to its LGBTQ community remain part of the making of the future. And so without that, I think we do a great disservice to not only present political social organizing, but also our understanding of how we got here. I think the collection was create, started at a very specific time and with intentions, you know, that focused, we all we all collect what we know and what we have experience with. And so um, there's a lot of, I know there's a lot of lesbian material, but it, it really centers on the gay and lesbian experience, um, which for many, many years was, was, you know, speaking of a dominant narrative within a marginalized community, but that was the dominant narrative. And so it means that we, even this book here, misses a lot around trans people, two-spirit people, um, queer people of color that were also involved. Um, and so again, it becomes something where um, lots of those starting points are attributed to people, rightly so, but it misses the layers of community that, that are all, were also involved in, you know, starting an organization, for example, or protesting something at the legislature. Um, and so I know that that's missing. I know that that's missing in the storytelling around um, our community locally, across the prairies, um, and that definitely could be missing. Those stories could be missing in terms of other 
other books, texts, um, magazines, um, and maybe something, you know, if as the collection, if the collection is able to grow and continue to really have a concerted effort towards building out those pieces, I think would be, would be a wonderful venture, although definitely not easy. 